What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. So first I need to address this iced coffee that I made is so good. I saw on TikTok that like somebody put brown sugar and cold brew and shook it up in ice and then they poured in their like favorite milk choice, I guess. Basically what I did, ice in a mason jar and then I did one and a half teaspoons of brown sugar and then I put the Trader Joe's cold brew concentrate. I just did like one and a half, almost two like shots of espresso and shook it up with the lid so I didn't have to use a shaker. And then I poured in my Chobani oat milk creamer and the flavor was vanilla. Oh, this is so good. You have to try it. Anyways, so in today's video, I'm gonna finally share with you guys how Brett and I built our end tables from just pieces of wood. I will make sure in the description to put all of the shopping list and cut plans, all that for what we did, as well as the step-by-step -step written out. But of course, I know it's easier when you just see somebody do it. I might have like a couple little holes or certain things that don't make much sense, but that's why I'm gonna include all the information for you too. Before we get started, I hope you guys like this video and subscribe to my channel. And if you don't already, you can follow me on Instagram. I post a ton of things that are home decor, easy casual style, and some other random stuff that I'm into, like this coffee. So let's get started. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is for these end tables, we're gonna cut the piece that we need to cut. So all the pieces are cut, just like the cut plan. And then I will give you guys the next step. So we just finished with our cuts. So these three are gonna be the top shelf, which these stained pieces are gonna sit on top of. And then this one is the bottom shelf. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach the two ends of it to the legs. So those are two legs, those are two legs. So I will show you what it looks like before we put in any of the screws. Here's our little watch buddy. So we're putting the bottom shelf on first. So this is one leg, this is one leg. And then if you just use one of the other pieces for the shelf, just to measure it up easily and then Brett had it clamped together. And then you're just gonna put one screw on this side and one screw on this side. Bottom shelf and then this is the top. So the top, you're just gonna make sure that the top of the leg is lined up perfectly on both sides and do two screws up here and two screws up here. So you should have something like this and then two screws at the top and bottom on both sides and then when you flip it, so this is one side of the table. And then you're just gonna repeat that step again, same exact thing to do the other side. So now you have each side of the end table with the top little shelf part and the bottom shelf, which should be a little bit off from the floor so you still have little room for the legs. Next is add the pieces that go here and here on both sides to then put in the middle piece. So you're gonna put one screw in here and there. All right, so once you have this piece on the top on both sides, so there and there, you're gonna put the middle shelf in. And the trick to get the spacing quickly and correct is you take the other shelf piece that goes on the bottom and just Test it and make sure it fits evenly on both sides. And it does. So then you're gonna put one screw in here and here on both sides. Okay, so now to the, do the bottom part, we just flipped it over just because it's easier to do it that way. So you're gonna put that same beam in right here. So how Brett and I do the X in the inside, is not actually how like you're supposed to do it and I don't really recommend it, but it's the lazy way. So we took our longer pieces to create the X and you just lay it across and then you'll mark with a pencil where you need to make the cut line. So like 
you can tell it's not a perfect line, but we go in and fill it in with caulk and then do the primer and then the paint so it actually looks pretty flat. So Brett's cutting right now the piece that's gonna go here and here. Here is the table unpainted and caulked. Pretty much what Brett and I do is we will caulk all of the funny little like holes or areas where they didn't line up perfectly and then just sand it down lightly so it's smooth. So like all this won't look crazy like that. Then we're gonna do the primer after we sand it. Then we're gonna paint it. I think I only needed one coat of paint because the primer actually worked really well for the first table. And then once that dries, we get to put the top on so it's four across, lays really nicely. And then we need to do the polyurethane. Okay, so it's all primed. Um, it's flipped over on, this is the top, this is the bottom. These are like the little legs, obviously. Um, so I'm just gonna paint it. Okay, so the table has been primed and painted and it is dry and now it's time to put the tops on and screw them down and then we're gonna put a coat or two of the polyurethane so that it stays nice and, what's the word? So that it stays nice and protected. So you're gonna take your four pieces for the top that you pre-stained if you chose to pre-stain it like us and then you just have to line it up so this obviously is not even this side is way too far over so once you have it lined up you're gonna put a screw one in the middle for each board on each side just like this so now that it looks like this we are ready to put our coats of polyurethane hey guys okay so it is now Monday, the weekend is over, but the table is totally dry and completely done. I hope that all the notes that I added into the step-by-steps of what we did helped. I know it was like a little choppy, um, but again, the description will have the plans that we followed, so I'm sure that will be helpful too if you do both. Um, but I wanna show you guys the finished table and we're gonna decorate it so that it fits better in the room. All right, so here's the table. I think it came out really nice. Um, like you can tell here how it's way cleaner from filling in, priming and painting. And then the polyurethane on the top. And I only do one coat just because you can always add another coat later on, but it's an end table. It's not gonna be used like all the time. It's more just for putting something on top of. And then we'll have coasters for like drinks if somebody puts a drink on it. So. Obviously, it's looking a little bare. We need to put some stuff on there. And we went to Costco yesterday and they had these snake plants, a two pack for I think like $19. So that is sitting there because it is gonna go on the table. So with that, let's decorate the end table. Not exactly sure what we're gonna put under here yet. Um, I have my yarn in the other one. Maybe it's gonna be this blanket basket but I'll play around with that and see what looks good. But yeah, I think for now, this is pretty cute. Okay, so that wraps up this video. I hope it helped like give you guys an idea. If you're interested in making your own end tables like how we did, we're definitely gonna do other projects and I'll definitely share them and how easy they are or how not easy they are because I know sometimes you might start a project and it's like, oh my God, what am I doing? This is a fail, but I think these came out actually really nice and they saved us at least like $75 each one, maybe more. Now it's kind of just inspiring to make more stuff for the house. So I hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do and comment below what you think. If you're gonna make something, please tell me. I would love to know and what you're gonna make. 
Also, if you don't already, subscribe to my channel so that you can see all things home decor, outfits, and a little bit of tech. And I will see you guys next time.